This is the Nearstream wireless lavalier microphone. We're going to head back to my YouTube studio. We're going to show you what's in the box. We'll talk about the features, how it works, what all it can do. And this is a really nice little lavalier microphone. And I think it sounds quite good for a lav. So hey, let's switch back over to my regular YouTube studio. And then we'll go do some more testing outdoors and indoors to give you more of an idea how this actually sounds. But yeah, let's move to the YouTube studio. I should mention they did send me this for free, so we're going to still be doing a very honest review and just checking it out and let you see what it's all about. Alright, now we're back in my YouTube studio. Now, of course, that's not going to sound the same as a condenser microphone, but the whole point of this is you can hook it onto a camera, your phone, or your computer. It's wireless, it's portable, it's small, and it sounds really, really nice for what it is. Now, in the box, you get this really nice little carrying case. When you open the case, you're going to see your transmitter and your receiver, and there's a little flap here, and when you open that, there's all these different wires, so you can attach it to those things I just mentioned. Now, let's say I just want to hook this into my phone. I'm going to find this piece right here. I'm going to plug my USB cable into that. I'm going to plug this into the USB on my phone. And ba-bam, there we got it, hanging right off there. And I know that looks kind of goofy, but uh, dangle, 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 dangle. Next, I'm going to grab the little microphone part. I am going to make sure I hold down the power button to turn the power on on this. Then I'm going to do the same on the other unit. And then I'm just going to go ahead and plug my headphones directly into this, like so. If you want to turn the noise canceling on and off, there's just a little button on the side. You press it. You got a blue light or you got a green light to let you know whether or not you have the noise canceling on or off. If you grab the receiver, which is this part right here, there is a mute button and a volume up and down button, which is really awesome. And it, let's just say you don't want to plug this into your phone. You want to plug this into your computer. It's the same thing. You just plug this USB cable right into the computer instead of the phone. Or if you want to plug it into your camera, it does come with a little jack for that as well. And it actually comes with two different adapters for that in case the, the little quarter inch jack you're plugging it into takes a different type. So there's the TRS and the TRSS and all that good stuff. But yeah, it comes with these, which is really, really cool. Now you do have to charge these, but it does come with this one split USB cable that will allow you to charge both units, the receiver and the transmitter, off of one USB cable, which is really darn nice. It also comes with this little adapter here, and I'm pretty sure this is for running this onto an iPhone. It also comes with this windscreen, or so we call it dead cat, so you can throw this on the microphone, and if there's a bunch of wind outside, it blocks a bunch of the wind. So once you have these powered on and hooked up to your device, you just simply grab this guy, clip it onto your shirt like so, and bam, you are ready to rock and roll. So let's go do a little more testing let's get back to letting you hear this actual microphone and how it sounds indoors and outdoors and we'll do a couple of tests and this and that with it so let's get to it let's get to it and i will put a link in the video's description to where you can get one of these and a bunch of other awesome stuff or some really great vst plugins so check out the affiliate links in the video's description and the pinned comment plus some other ways to help support the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe all right, so right now we have the noise canceling turned on, and this is what it sounds like in a big open living room with the noise canceling on. So let's go ahead and turn off the noise canceling. So here we go in three, two, one. And now we have the noise canceling off. So my voice should probably sound a little bit better, but you're gonna hear more reverb. You're gonna hear me walking around and all kinds of extra stuff if we have the noise canceling turned off. So let's go ahead and turn that on again. So now the noise canceling is back on. You hear all the background noise being cut out, which is really cool. And it actually works really, really good. I'm not sure how it's affecting the uh, sound of my voice exactly, but I can definitely tell that's cutting out the background noise. All right, so let's go ahead and move into a bedroom. This is a bedroom with absolutely no sound treatment. This is a very reverb -y room. Let's move this into another room that does have a little bit of sound treatment, and then we'll take it outside and see how she sounds outside. This is my little YouTube studio. We got a lot of sound treatment in here. It's not perfect. Right now, we have the noise canceling turned off. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And this is what it sounds like in noise canceling mode in a nice, quiet, treated room that has... You know, it probably gets rid of about 80 to 90% of the reverb. So it should be nice and dead in this room overall. So this is what the microphone sounds like with noise canceling on. And now this is what it sounds like with noise canceling off. 
So there were some quick tests of how she sounds inside, so let's go take this thing outside. So we're at the local park, it's a little wet out today, and this is what it sounds like with no noise canceling when you're walking down a trail. I'll, I'll stop talking for a second so you can hear the footsteps. If I drag my feet, and let's go ahead and turn on the noise cancellation. All right, so now we have the noise cancellation arm, and you're probably still hearing a little bit of footsteps, but nothing too crazy. So yeah, there we have the noise cancellation on a wet path. That sounds kind of uh, crunchy when you walk, I would say. Now we have the noise cancellation back off. I honestly feel like this is a pretty good sounding lavalier microphone. I mean, I don't normally like lavalier microphones, but I actually do like this one. This is the first one I've ever had or used that I actually like, so. Yeah, this is a nice little setup. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Now you can easily hold something like this in your hand as long as you don't move your hands around. So, I mean, if you're, it does have a lot of handling noise. So if you keep a nice grip on it and you don't move your hands around, you can handheld this thing and talk right into the front of it or whatever, but just don't be like, because nobody's gonna wanna listen to that. So yeah. Every microphone definitely has some handling noise. All right, so I would say this has been a very good test of this nice little lavalier microphone, a wireless lavalier microphone by Nearstream. So let's go talk about my final thoughts and all that other good stuff. All right, so we did our test. We checked it out. We showed you kind of how to use it, talked about what it comes with and all the features. And I'm gonna tell you what, it's a really nice little lavalier microphone. I really do like it. I mean, it's not gonna sound like a condenser microphone or a dynamic mic that's right in front of your face or something, but like I said, that's not the point. The whole point of something like this is it clips on your shirt, it's wireless, it's portable, you can take it anywhere. It works with your phone, your computer, your camera. It's just an all around great little lavalier microphone. And when it comes to lavaliers, I actually do like the way it sounds. I don't like the way most lavaliers sound, honestly but this one is pretty good in my opinion. Again, I like it. I think it's a cool deal. Check out the video's description or the pinned comment if you're interested in getting one of these. We'll have some links down there. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lighten it up.